Jones, early growth. I was born in Four Commercial Road, South Fremantle. And, well, there was only cricket and football around in those days. But I joined the Cobbers under 15s. It was the first time we played. That was the first time they had teams. And then I went, I graduated from there gradually up the ride through to ex scholars and and then I was lucky enough to make the reserves for South in the first year I played here and then I got picked to go into the top side which I then played 125 games for. Quite a start, you know. And then my mum used to say, You can't go, it's raining. You can't go to the football today. That's when I was playing juniors. And I said, Mum, I've got to go because all the other boys are gone. And so that's where I sort of got committed, if you know what I mean. I started in 1952. And I played four senior games that year, and then I played in the reserves grand final, which we won. And we only lost one game for the year that year in the reserves, and that was second semi-final, thanks very much. And then we went on to win the final and the grand final. And then the second year, I played the first four games in the reserves, and then I got selected into the top side. And I played all the rest of that year right through and played in the premiership, winning premiership. In 54, I got an injury, I played in the, in the semi-final and I got an injury and I missed the grand final. I, I didn't play at all in, the, in that final. And in 55, of course, we fell out. We only lost one game for the year and then got beat in the second and in the first, second semi-final in the final. And then in 1956, I was a runner-up in the grand final, we played in the runner-up. And then I played for the next three years where we were building the side again and in 1958 was when I pulled the pin and said I've had enough. In 1953, oh, it was a great game. We, we really, we run out on the ground and within 30 seconds we had a goal on the board. And, that, and then the game was played and, and uh, at three quarter time, Clive said to me, I'm gonna put you on the half back flank and give Des Kelly a bit of a run now. And I went on the halfback flank and uh, I got more kicks on the halfback flank in the last quarter than I got all day. But it was a really exciting time. There was a lot of highlights. <laughs> oh, Bernie Naylor was a gold snake, of course, and Steve Marsh was a rover. Uh, I, I think it was Norm Smith was the number one ruckman and I was classed as a follower in those days, which is a ruck rover these days. And they look, well, today they play all over the place. <laughs> but there was a great, great feeling, you know, when you're, only, you're not very old and you play in a winning grand final with some of these stars that have been there for quite a few years. You know, that was one of the highlights.
just liked the game, that was it. And wanted to wanted to perform as best I could. And, and so yeah. So there's not much else you can do. Eh? You just gotta get out there and train and get yourself right. And now and again, you know, I dislocated the thumb once and I got put back in, but you couldn't get out of the team. You had to put your hand up there and mark the ball whether it hurt or not, otherwise you didn't get your place back. So, but other than that, I never had hardly any injuries at all. Lucky, that's right. The games were hard, but you, you learned how to ride the bumps. So this is when you first run out there with, on a big day, on a big crowd. You needed your supporters to give you that little bit of a lift and th things like that, you know. The contribution makes a big difference in all games, really. But I suppose the first time I got put at full back, it was in the last year I played, I, and uh, they wanted a, a full back, so uh, I got a knock on the front door on the Thursday night, and it was John Todd, and John was the coach. And he said, I just come out to tell you so you don't get a shock in the morning when you read the paper, but you'll be playing full back on Saturday. So I had to come out there and play full back and we were playing West Perth and, and they had a new goal sneak they put on there and, and I played a really top game because I never let them get a goal and we, we beat them easy and yeah so I played that year as a full back and after being a ruck rover all, me, all the rest of the time it was a big change. Uh, I just got on, you get on with it. And, yeah, but that was one of the highlights. I really enjoyed that year when I played there. You feel as though you've achieved something. You know, it gives you that little bit of a lift. And, and you'll be walking down the street and someone will come up to you and, and say, oh, I saw you on Saturday down at the, playing at the Oval there. And, and just come up to you and say hello and things like that. And I suppose you get a little bit more recognition or something like that. Well, they're your followers. They're the ones that help you and keep the club going, uh, give the club strength. The supporters give the club strength and, and that. Yeah. So they're as important as what the players are because they're, they, they're what make the players lift. So when you hear the crowd behind you, it gives you that little bit more, another half a yard of speed. Mm -hmm.